Hi, it's Robin Sharma. Welcome to this mastery session. If you want to learn how to fortify your energy and bring on your fire each day in a world of digital distraction and interruptions and a lot of people being busy, being busy, you are going to find this mastery session incredibly valuable because it's called the four methods superstars use to protect their energy. Well, here's the backstory of uh, why I recorded this mastery session. Energy is more valuable than even your intellect. I mean, I know you're smart, and yet the people who win in business, in creativity, in productivity, and in their humanity are not only the people that are smart, they're the people that have the energy to execute on their lofty ambitions. I want you to think about what I just said. You can have gorgeous opportunities, you can have great ambitions, you can have awesome gifts and talents, which I know you do, and yet, without the execution energy to get your big dreams done, nothing happens. This world is littered with geniuses who never did anything. And a lot of people who don't have the level of intellect or the, the, the gifts of a lot of the great geniuses did amazing things because they fortified their energy and then they focused it on one or two things. Could, be, it could have been creating an app, building another type of business, launching a movement, writing a symphony, but they brought such energy and conviction and fire to their idea that they materialized it into the world. And we all know that leadership is a lot less about talk and it's a lot more about execution, application, and implementation. So what are the four methods that superstars use to protect their energy? Well, the first method is understanding this model I've been teaching for many years called the Twin Cycles of Elite Performance. I share it in great detail in the 5 a.m. club, my book, but let me give you a high-level version of it right now. So, the old model of working is, let's work harder and get more done. The old model of producing is, she or he who works the longest leads the field. Well, that model comes from the industrial age when we were factory workers. So, if we worked longer in the factory, we would produce more widgets. Well, we live in a completely different world right now. And it's not how long you work. Here's the most important thing. The quality of your genius that you bring to your hours. And so the first method that superstars use, I've worked with billionaires. I've worked with NBA, NFL, NHL superstars. And here's what I've taught them. The, tw the model is called the twin cycles of elite performance. Rather than it being all about working longer, work much more intelligently. To be specific, don't work like a marathoner, work like a sprinter. And the Energy Project has done a lot of great research into this. In other words, the greatest business people, creatives, producers, work in sprints of intense focus and energy, and then they pull back and they recover. And then they come back and work in another intense burst of their greatest work, all in, and then they recover. A, a doctor came to one of my live events and he said, I've worked with Usain Bolt, and Usain Bolt told to me, he said, I rest 50% of the time to allow the training to take effect. And so, Great athletes understand you go out onto the court, you do your best, you bring on your gifts, you play full out, and then you recover. So the model that I teach is called the twin cycles of elite performance. You've got your high excellence cycle. I'm gonna show you the model right now on the screen. Have a look at it. You've got your high excellence cycle. That is when you go all in and then you pull back and you've got your deep recovery cycle. That's when you refuel, regenerate, and replenish. And here's the key. Why do you do this? It's because if all you do is expend your talents all day long, then you actually deplete them. I'm going to repeat that again because it's so important. If all you're doing is working, 
or if all you're doing is showtime and you don't recover, you actually deplete your assets of genius. And one of the keys to legendary is longevity. Okay, so just think about working under cycles. Periods of time, it could be during your days where you're full on fire and then taking the time to recover by going for a walk or drinking some tea or listening to some music, then doing another few hours in terms of a burst of intense and beautiful work where you're bringing on all your focus, all your talent, and then pulling back and, rec and recovering. And then even when it comes to your week, take at least one or two days off, no technology, no work, just with your family, or just mountain biking, long times, you know, walking in the woods, writing in a journal, you might think, and your ego might suggest to you, and your friends might say, you're wasting time, you know, you're missing out, get in the game. Well, be a leader, don't follow the majority. Remember, great audacity without intelligent recovery leads to the depletion of your genius. You actually, I'll, I'll put it to you this way, making the time to pull back and recover in that deep recovery cycle, deep refueling cycle, actually is how you grow. Okay, so the first method that superstars use to protect their energy is working in cycles or seasons, and they run the twin cycles of elite performance. Which brings me to the second methods that the pros use to really you know, fortify their energy, which is rest. So you may have read my book, The 5 AM Club. You may be a member of The 5 AM Club. You've probably seen some of my videos over the past two decades where I've been teaching The 5 AM Club and the morning routine of history makers and the underlying 2020-20 formula. Here's the key. I've never once suggested that joining The 5 AM Club and becoming an early riser means being sleep deprived. We all know the research says the number one way to cut your life short is sleep deprivation. We all know that you never are at your creative, productive, personal best when you are exhausted. So the real key to a great morning routine is a superb nightly ritual. And I want to quickly walk you through the pre-sleep routine of the virtuosos. That one hour before you go to sleep, no technology. Otherwise, you're going to affect melatonin production, which is going to play you know, havoc with your, the quality of your sleep. So no technology, no white screen, one hour before you go to sleep. Secondly, sleep in a room full of no technology. Thirdly, make sure your bedroom is a little cold. Fourthly, do what the Romans do and have a hot bath before you go to sleep. What else can you do before you go to sleep in terms of a nightly routine? Write in a journal. Martin Seligman, the pioneer of uh, the field of positive psychology, did some research. And what he found was people who recorded, just a journal exercise, three good things that happened to them during the day that's just ending. By doing that little exercise, they promoted gratitude and felt much better over a period of weeks. And so another part of your pre-sleep routine could be just before you go to bed, you pull out your journal and you ask yourself this question, what three good things happened to me during this day? And what that does, it fights your brain's negativity bias and it forces your brain to hunt for great things that happen to you during the day, even the hardest day. If you asked yourself that question, what are three good things that happened? You could say, hmm, well, I had some amazing coffee in the morning and my child laughed incredibly hard this afternoon and you know what? I got a great piece of news from one of my favorite clients today. So make sure you get your pre-sleep routine right because that is really the DNA of a great morning routine. The larger point is really the second method uh, that the superstars use to protect their energy is they sleep. And the final thing I wanna say on that point is napping is one of my secret weapons. I learned it from my father who was a family physician for 54 years and I would see him get up early and I would see him you know, working really hard but he always came home for a family meal and then after the family 
family meal, he would, in his suit and tie, very old school, he would take a power nap and then he'd go back to the office and work till 10 o'clock. I mean, my father worked so hard as a, as a family doctor. But from him, I modeled learning to nap. And I've done that for uh, most of my adult life. And what that does is it brings a vigor and a freshness to your evening. Your willpower is a lot stronger. You have energy to be with your family or to work or to read, to do all of those things in your evening that sets you up for an even more epic, amazing, creative, productive, and wonderful day. The third method that superstars use to protect their energy really brings what I've shared with you together. And it's a model called the Trinity of Radiant Vitality, and I'm going to show it to you on the screen right now. I just want you to have a look at it. Well, the part you can see at the top of the framework is exercise. And if I was to deconstruct exercise and just have a look at this, you'll see stretching. To me, that is so fundamentally important. You see that stretching in that circle. Stretching is important to staying limber, to playing the long game, to preventing recovery, to just feeling good. What else is, if I was to deconstruct exercise, weight training. We know that it releases all sorts of great neurochemicals. We also know that it protects your muscle mass as you age. And here's another insight. When you are strong, you feel strong. When you are strong, you feel strong. You'll also see in the deconstruction of exercise, 2WW, that comes from my book, The 5 AM Club. It's one of the 10 daily rituals of genius that I talk about in the book. The second wind workout, that's what 2WW stands for. If you believe exercise is a game changer and it makes you feel better and it makes you more creative and productive, why would you only do it once a day? Second wind workout just means when you finish work, you go for a nature walk. When you finish work, you go for a mountain bike ride. When you finish work, you go to a yoga class. When you finish work, you go to a park and start doing planks, push-ups, and burpees. So another part of exercise is the second wind workout. And then the final part of the deconstruction, as you'll see from the model that I'm sharing with you, is make sure you get your cardio in. There's a lot of emerging science. Before they were saying, you know, not too much cardio, more on functional exercise, planks, burpees, lunges. Well, what a lot of research coming out now is saying is that cardio is so much more important than we recognized because it releases BDNF brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which accelerates your processing and which repairs brain cells damaged by stress. Okay, let's go to the second element of the Trinity of Radiant Vitality model. And as you'll see, it's nutrition. Let's deconstruct that together. Nutrition to me is about eating real food versus fake food as much as possible. You know, someone once said, if it doesn't come from the ground or grow on a tree or have a mother, don't eat it. Real food versus fake food. You don't want to I'll eat processed food, you know it's artificial, you know it'll mess up your brain optimization and your physicality, et cetera. Second, um, when it comes to nutrition, as you'll see from the model in front of you, I'm big on supplementation. I take a lot of vitamin C every day, talk to your doctor, talk to a nutritionist, get really big into supplementing because we all know our body can't produce everything that we need to be at our best. And you wanna play at the long game, you wanna be a virtuoso, you wanna be around for the loved ones in your life and you wanna change the world, get your nutrition and your supplementation right. Fasting, this is, you know, I, I wanna just emphasize this part of the model in front of you. Fasting is so fundamentally important to me. Now, you gotta go see a doctor to make sure it's right for you. But as I wrote the 5 a.m. club and I wrote it over four years, one of the hacks that I use to dial into my best thinking and my best productivity so I could get into another world as I wrote the book for hours was fasting. So I intermittent fast at least 18 to 20 hours every single day. If it's right for you, check it out. I'm not a doctor. Check it out with someone who is qualified to make sure it's right for you, but it's been very helpful for me. And then as you'll see from the model, hydration. We know from emerging science that mitochondrial function, which is the seed of, you know, that's energy in your, in your system, in your body. Hydration is so important for optimal mitochondrial function. Most people don't drink enough water, make sure you do. 
Okay, and then the final element of the trinity of radiant vitality, have a look at it in the framework right in front of you, it's recovery. Let's quickly deconstruct that because I really want this episode of the Mastery Sessions to be revolutionary for you. Massage. Well, in the 5 a.m. club, there's the two massage protocol. It's another one of those 10 rituals of daily genius. Massage has changed my life. Massage releases serotonin. Massage makes you more happy. Massage gives you more energy. Just get serious about get, get, getting at least a massage every single week. And you might say, well, Robin, I can't afford the time and I can't afford the money. Well, death will cost you more. I say that with a smile on my face because I'm trying to make the point so you really embrace massage as an elite performance tool to be legendary and to make your mark on history. What else is in the recovery element? Nature. One thing the great artists and the great productives of, the, of history all have in common, they loved walking in nature. What else is there? Fun. Fun is so important for recovery. You know, like going out there and traveling or doing things with your family or hanging with your friends. Never a waste of time because while you're with your friends or while you're reading or while you're traveling, here's the big idea your best insights are incubating. And that's why the great business builders, the true titans of industry, or the great artists got their insights that changed the world when they were in the shower, when they were with their friends, when they were with the new city. The brain relaxed, it got into that transient hypofrontality that I teach in the 5 a.m. club book, and because of that, it, great ideas were incubating. Haruki Murakami said, when I'm not writing my books and living life is when I'm getting the best ideas that I'll use to write my books. Meditation is important for recovery. Sometimes if I can take my naps in the afternoon, I will spend 20 minutes uh, recovering by meditation. I love guided meditations. This is not the episode for me to walk you through meditation. I'm happy to do it in a future episode. That's why you want to even go back and listen to all the previous episodes because a lot of these things are covered. And then finally rest, I mentioned that. I need to finish up this episode. I'm so full of passion and fire to, to share this information with you. The fourth method that superstars use to protect their energy is my model called Joy is a GPS. I don't have time to show you this model. Joy is a GPS is so profound and it simply means this. If you want to feel more energy, ask yourself these three questions. Who are the people that fuel my joy? And bring those people into your life even more. And related to that, do a list. The people that bring down your joy and release those people from your life. Those energy vampires and hope thieves. Second question to ask yourself on this joy is a GPS model. What are the pursuits that fuel my joy? And anything that is not bringing you joy in terms of the pursuits that you do, whether it's work or even at home, stop doing them. And the final third question that the joy is a GPS model is based around. What are the places that fuel my joy. It could be the rooms in your house. It could be the places you go in your city. It could be cities ranging from Zurich to Shanghai. We all have places where when we are there, our joy is amplified. And I'm sure you're the same as me. There are places where I go where I just don't feel good. The joy as a GPS model is so profound because your instinct really is more powerful than your intellect. And your joy is your higher wisdom telling you the people that really belong in your orbit, the pursuits that you are meant to be following that will really bring you to your mountaintop, and the places that you're meant to be. Okay, so there's been a lot in this mastery session. I encourage you to go back and watch it another time and then study it. So I hope this mastery session has helped you a lot. 
Um, I've given my heart and soul in this one, so I hope you feel how much I care and I really want to help you. Here's what I would encourage you to do. If you have found this mastery session valuable, please share it with three people as quickly as possible and then start the conversation with them about everything that you learned. Number two, if you would like me to mentor you and you want to go 100x deeper into this kind of material that I've shared on, whether it's neuroscience or the philosophy or greatness, if you really want to multiply and accelerate your productivity, if you really want to bring your fire and your primitive and primal heroism to the world and you're tired of playing small, when you're tired of limiting yourself, well then I would love to work with you if you're that kind of person. And there is information below on my monthly mentoring program. It's absolutely world class. It's called Circle of Legends. And if you feel you want to work at Legendary and live that heroic life that I truly believe you're destined to live, check out the information below in Circle of Legends and I'd love to be of service to you in the program. Finally, if you haven't read my book, uh, The 5 AM Club, Ooh, I spent four years of hard labor working on the 5 a.m. club and essentially it's 333 pages of um, me distilling the best ideas I've learned over two decades working with billionaires and companies like Starbucks, General Electric, Ni uh, Nike, Microsoft, IBM and, and organizations like NASA and Young Presidents Associ uh, Organization. And so read the 5 a.m. club. I promise you it will be a tool for transformation and a manifesto for absolute mastery. To find the book, you can find it online or just go over to the 5 a.m. club club.com. And I'm really excited to share that after you finish the book, at the end of the book, there is a free, and I want to emphasize free, because I really want to help you lock in the 5 a.m. club habit. It is the mother of all habits. You get your morning right, your days will be right, your days are world class, you'll have world class weeks, quarters, and years. The single best move you can make is to join the 5 a.m. club, run the 2020 formula that I walk you through in the book because as you begin your day, so you handcraft your life. And I'm excited to share at the end of the book, you will find details for a free 66 day online program where after you finish the book for 66 days, which is the period of time required to install a new habit, I will literally mentor you through morning mastery meditations and videos at no charge for 66 days until you reach the point that researchers call automaticity, where it actually becomes easier to get up at 5 a.m. than not to get up at 5 a.m. Final thing I want to share with you, a portion of uh, my royalties on every copy of the 5 a.m. club sold goes to fight leprosy on the planet. It's a violent affliction. I am all in to help fight leprosy as much as I humanly can. So when you invest in a copy of the 5 AM Club, you not only invest in your growth and transformation, you invest in helping a child with leprosy live a better life. Okay, so thank you so much and I'll see you in the next mastery session and be great. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.